Welcome back in another video. In the last video, we talked about uh, variables in JavaScript uh, as the basics of JavaScript, because this video is all about the basics of JavaScript. And today's video, I want us to look at how to discuss the data types in JavaScript. So we normally have different data types in JavaScript, but in this video, we shall not look uh, at all of them but we shall discuss a few. Um, there are different data types in JavaScript. For, for example, we have, uh, we have the strings. We have the strings. Uh, we also have the number. Um, we also have the, the booleans. Also the, the, the true and false. So these are some of the most basic uh, data types in JavaScript that we shall discuss in this video. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another file that is data underscore types underscore types dot js. So this is where we are going to write our code for data types. I just wanted to organize this in a different file so that as you learn, you don't confuse with the, with this one. Okay, so the first thing I said is that we are going to start with the strings. So here, I write strings. So strings, um, strings are used to represent textual information in JavaScript. So here you can say strings are used to represent uh, represent textual information textual information textual information in in javascript okay so i can just write js so, for example, you can have a string like, um, so strings are normally stored in in uh, quotes. So you can have double quotes or or maybe single quotes. So, for example, you can say const uh, name, const name equal to, then you put the double quotes or you put the single quotes. Then you can say Maxwell like this. The same way you can say const um, name equal to, then you put the single quotes, just the same thing. So strings are normally stored in uh, double quotes or single quotes. So whenever you're working with JavaScript and you see something like this within the single quotes or double quotes, uh, it means that is a string. You can also store a string in backticks, like so. So you can have, uh, let's say, um, let first name. So let first underscore name equal to, then back ticks. Then you say, uh, for example, Maxwell, like this. But strings are, uh, back ticks are normally used when you want to write an expression within, uh, within strings. So, for example, if you're having the first name as, uh, as let's say, James, and uh, down here you come and say, uh, down here you say maybe, uh, let uh, information, let information equal to, then you put the back ticks and say something like, this maybe something like my my first name my first name is then you put expression the back ticks not not the back ticks but the javascript expression where you start with the dollar sign and then the calibrates so here you start with the dollar sign then the calibrates and then you say uh, first name 
then again you close with the back tick so if you say console you say console not log information and then you come here in the terminal then say node uh, data underscore types dot js if you run that then you can see it says my first name is james so this is the back ticks that are also used as strings but normally when you want to pass in a javascript expression inside the the string so you ensure that you are using the back ticks otherwise you can't use uh, the normal double quotes or single quotes when if you want to pass in the javascript expression okay now the next thing is um maybe you should look at um the number data type so here i can type in number so numbers are always or are integers and floating numbers in javascript so if you type in a number a whole number like three or four and a floating point with let's say one or two point three all these are considered as numbers in javascript so for example if you want to type some numbers so you can say um const number one equal to two then you can also say const number two equal to 4.5 if you come down here and say console.log then let's say number one then you come here and run you can see you get number two if you do the same for number two then we still get 4.5 so floating points and whole numbers are still numbers in javascript um the next data type is the the boolean so you can have uh, booleans and these are true or false values so if you have true you have true and also you have false you have false so these are booleans but we shall look at this how to use these mostly when we shall be dealing with objects and maybe uh, functions but just to show you an example how you can uh, declare booleans you can say something like const const is older is older equal to false so something like this then you can also say const is uh, younger is younger equals to true so this is how you can declare boolean so whenever you see something like true and false it means these are booleans in javascript i think the next data type we shall look at also is um the undefined so if you undefined mostly are uh, data types that whose variable is not uh, initialized so if you are having undefined and so you say let edge let edge and you say console.log console.log edge if you come down here and run the code you can see it says undefined so this is undefined still you can initialize edge you can say let name equal to undefined so this is you can also initialize explicitly as this um you can say new name still if you run this code so console.log the new name try to run this you can see it still gives you undefined so you can define explicitly as undefined or you can just leave at it as it is then still returns undefined 
but mostly undefined is not uh, recommended that you declare it explicitly but null is what is recommended if you want to leave your variable as empty so that leads us to null so if you're having um variable let's say let uh edge uh new edge let new edge equal to null it means the edge is empty so if you say concern log new edge and try to run this you can see it says it is null okay another another data type is uh, the object so you can have an object as a data type so here if i say object and object normally stores values with keys so is somehow complex data type that allows us to store collections of data for example if i have um, if i have const uh, student equal to then object normally is within the curly bracket so if i say and i say um i can say first name i can say first name i don't want to use that maybe i say um student underscore name then we say is um, James. Then we put a comma. Then we say student uh, age is twenty. And then we can also say um, uh, program program is um, let's say biology so this is the object of student so it has several information that represents the student okay so here if you want to check the type of the data type you are using you can use the type of operator type of operator so for example if you have const um, student age const student age equal to 20 and you say console.log uh, student underscore edge and now you come down here in the con in the terminal and run the code you can see the student edge is 20 but you can still in here write type of so you say type of uh you can say type of student edge if you try to run this you can see it says the type of the edge is a number so still you can do the same thing for variable for booleans i mean so you can say const is checked so this means this is a boolean value is checked equal to let's say false and you try to say console log uh, type of is checked type of is checked then run this you can see it says this is a boolean value uh, if you run the one for the string let's say you have const um const another another name const another name equal to let's say uh, 
Suzanne. And you say console.log, then type of another name like that. Then you run the code, you can clear this. So if you run this code, you can see it says this is a string. Okay, now these are the most basic data types you can use in JavaScript, but there are others that you can look from online resources to still get you to understand more about the data types in JavaScript. This is what I just wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one as we continue to explore the basics of JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.